Hello and welcome to my first little tutorial on how to create makeup for TV and film. Today I've got my friend Jenny here to help me do one look and today I'll be teaching you how to create some cuts. So first what you need to do is start off with a clean face and I'm going to be working on this area right here. To create the cut I'm going to be using a Ben 9 nose and scar wax and for this it's really kind of sticky and tacky so what I find best is to use a little bit of moisturiser on your hands just before you're about to apply on the face so the transition from this onto the face is a lot more smoother. So just taking a little bit of moisturiser onto the tips of my fingers and just rubbing that in and all over my hands. To get the scar wax out of the pot I'm just taking the ends of my tweezers and just scraping that up. I'm just softening up the scar wax in my fingers just to warm the product up so it's more easy to manipulate. So once the scar wax is softened up, you just put it to the side for the moment because next we are going to apply some liquid latex onto the cheek so then the scar wax adheres to the face. So just taking a small sponge that you don't mind to get ruined because the latex can ruin some sponges and taking some latex in a little pot, I'm just dipping that in and just applying that to the area that I want to apply the cut. Then you want the liquid latex to dry a little bit so it's a bit tacky and then you want to go ahead and apply your scar wax to the area. At the moment it's going to look a bit rough because we're going to need to knit out in a minute. So then taking the moisturiser again I'm just applying that to my fingertips so I can smooth out the edges of the scar wax. Also you can use a smoothing tool, yet again I'm taking my tweezers and just smoothing the product into the skin. So once you've blended out the scar wax to your liking, go ahead and then take a bit more moisturiser rub it to your fingers and then go ahead and smooth the area. So once you're happy with the scar wax in place, just go ahead and cover it fully in latex. This is going to help the scar wax seal in place and last for a long time on the face and also it gives you a nice base to put your foundation or your cover up on top. Once the latex is drying, go ahead and make your incision of where you want your cut to be. So I'm just taking my tweezers and just gently make an incision and give it a little... So once you're happy with that application, you want to leave it for about 5 minutes to make sure the latex is all sealed and all dried up. So now once the latex is dry, you want to go in and match it to your skin colour. So I've got just a concealer palette here that I'm going to be mixing some colours to match Jenny's skin. Now for the inside of the cut in this little slit here, I'm going to be taking a dark, deep, blood coloured red lipstick and I'm going to take that on a small brush just to get the precision that I need. Then also in that little cut I'm going to add a deep dark purple and this is just going to give more depth and look a bit more realistic. I'm going to add a little bit of bruising. I'm taking this eyeshadow palette here which has the bruising colours that I need. So it's got the yellow, it's got purple, it's got a bit of green and it's also got the blue. So what I'm going to start off with is I'm going to take the yellow and also I'm going to take the excess colour on the back of my hand so you can control the amount of product that's going to go onto the skin. And I'm just going to add a bit of yellow just around the outskirts of where we put the latex down. Then I'm going in just to add some green hues to it. This will make it look like the, the bruising is fresh. Now for the last finishing touches, I'm using some fake blood. 
This is just a really dark, fresh looking blood, so it looks like she's just been cut and this blood is just forming on the skin. Taking a fine line eye brush, I'm just dipping the blood in and then just placing it inside the cut. If it drips, it just adds to the effect and gives it more of a realistic looking fresh cut. And that there is the finished product. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for another Makeup for TV and Film.